thanks, thanks, John. And it's truly um, a pleasure being back here. This is my first full term in the assembly, and uh, some ways it went by quickly, and other ways it seemed like decades. But um, it is um, always an enjoyable event, and getting a chance to um, address a hometown crowd and hometown um, and county. Let me start off with my my wife of 33 years. Debbie, who's here with me, breast cancer survivor, one of the greatest people I know, right, Debbie Worth, so. And, and I have two girls, uh, Courtney and Aaron, 25, 23. Unfortunately, um, fortunately, they both have um, good jobs and they're, they're city kids, believe it, they're from Sussex County to um, New York City because that's the field they're, they're in fashion and, and banking and I couldn't be prouder. You know, people ask, why do you run? You know, I guess the most important thing and the most common thing you're asked. Let me, let me tell you, and I appreciate my opponents, all of her comments that she made today, but let me, let me read you a quote and then tell me who you think said this the other day. If you're a one-issue voter and tax is your issue, we're probably not your state. Who do you know would be that arrogant to make a comment like that? Who the hell does he think he is to say that we don't pay enough taxes? Maybe we should go live in another place. You know what? Someone who lost their mom, but she couldn't afford to live here anymore. She was a secretary in the hospital her whole life. Can't afford to pay taxes. This is Governor Murphy who gave this quote out the other day. He still doesn't think we pay enough taxes. That's why I'm running. It's plain and simple. All this talk about unaffordability is because of this guy. The Murphy and the Democrats. Since he's been in, I've only been there two years. Not even two years. Money new taxes. Two and a half billion dollars out of your pocket. Just get, can you imagine what he's going to do in the next two years? Believe me, there's more taxes coming. Twenty new taxes, two and a half billion. He's increased, along with Democratic legislators, increased spending by four billion dollars in the last two years. Twelve percent. How many of you got a twelve percent pay raise in the last two years? Not too many hands. I don't see too many hands here. This is what we're dealing with. And as far as not being an effective, I am so honored to be on the ticket. Well, this year, it's, it, I'm a bit very honored to be with Parker and the rest of my slate, but Senator Oroho, who's one of the most respected individuals in Trenton. And people say, you know, based you on your effectiveness in Trenton, I don't want to, it doesn't sound bragging, but here, just let me know a cross group of people who've endorsed my candidacy after two years. State PBA, State FOP, Fraternal Order of Police, the Fire in New Jersey FMBA, NFIB, National Federation of Independent Business, New Jersey Job Packs, which is, it has almost every New Jersey company in the state as a member, either that, that or NFIB, New Jersey Building Trades, Operating Engineers 825, Teamsters 73, Nurses Association, Smart Transportation, NRA, Right to Life, and the New Jersey Outdoor Alliance. That's America, folks. That's Sussex County, who's back in this ticket. These are the people who make the buses move every day, the people who are in the diners, the people driving the trucks, the people building your house. This is one of the most cross group. They don't endorse people and tickets who they don't think are effective. They endorse because they think you're an effective legislator and then you can speak on the issues on the floor. And, you know, as far as local aid, Local aid has doubled in the last couple of years. We got five, almost six million dollars just in transportation aid for the municipalities. In Warren County, another county in our district, we represent Mount Olive and Mars, Warren County and Sussex County, they had they didn't even have to raise their property tax at all because of the increased then local aid that's coming from Trenton. So we are getting our fair share. Is it ever enough? No. You always want more money, especially because it's our money. We want it back. Let me touch on a couple of the other the other issues, um, as we talked about the sanctuary state question, you know, there, it's not, we're all for immigration. You hate to even have to defend it, but what's going on here on a sanctuary state is just unacceptable. Illegal immigration costs New Jersey about $3 billion. $3 billion, and again, we're talking about school taxes. This governor stripped tens of millions of dollars from our rural area in school funding over a four year period. Also, He's not in Democratic areas, too, so, you know, someone's trying to say, well, if I get elected, you know, the governor and I are going to be best friends and checks are going to come. District 1, which is a, re a Democratic district, had more age strip than us. So what the problem is, New Jersey has a spending problem, and you need people down there that are fighting and telling people the differences. 
People like Parker, who's owned his own business his whole life. My wife and I had our own business. We were involved in starting a bank that had almost 100 employees that recently. So you have to have people. I always think it should be a free prerequisite for being in office that you have to either have owned a company or worked in the private sector. A lot of these people in La La Land, they think that money comes off the trees and I got to find this fortune myself because they just think the trend is unlimited funds that we can just keep taxing and taxing. You know what? People are leaving. There's more people leaving New Jersey than never before. Florida's welcoming with open arms. I mean, that mass exit, check the United Van Lines stats. There's more moving trucks going out of New Jersey, a lot more than are coming in. These are facts. People can differ, but the facts are facts, and facts are a terrible thing. They're stubborn because they're, they are what they are. So that's what we plan on doing is continuing down there to fight for the issues. We have great relationships on both sides of the aisle. As being a cabinet member for six and a half years, I developed great relationships and we work well together. We don't necessarily always agree by any stretch of the imagination, but even many um, legislators, both in Assembly and the Senate, know that spending is out of control. I mean, New Jersey's $200 billion in debt. You know, and then when you think things can't get any worse, I'm sure everybody in this room heard about the rain tax. I thought it was a joke. I said, no one's going to tax the rain. They did. It's passed. It's low. And they're literally going to tax the rain. Now, luckily, a governor in Maryland lost over an election, lost his election over taxing the rain. But things are really, really bad. And I think, you know, Governor Murphy, he's definitely a good man, a decent man, but he's he is out of touch with reality. I mean, someone who pays two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars property taxes on their house, has a house in Italy, a house in Germany, they can't relate to the people in our district that are going to work every day, they're going to work before dark, they're getting home after dark, they're trying to get the kids ready for school. So we have a huge spending problem, folks. We have to push back. And I'm hoping that we're going to get help from the other side of the aisle. But I really respectfully ask for the vote for the entire Republican ticket on November 5th. Uh, got an amazing sheriff, got an amazing freeholder, amazing freeholder candidate. And I promise you that if you um, give me your vote, I will continue to go down there and fight. And you won't see that chair empty. When there's a time on the floor, my job, you guys pay me to walk in salary to get up there and fight. And if there's something that I should be fighting for, you will see me fighting on the floor. And it makes a difference, believe me. We, get, we can get things pushed back and it really helps out. So thank you very much. I look forward to the second part of this.